Have you ever heard of the story of Jason McElwain? Jason was a 17-year-old kid with autism who longed to play basketball, but could never make the team because of his autism. Instead, Jason volunteered to be his varsity team's manager for the Greece Athena High School in Rochester, New York. He worked hard all year long, filling water bottles, cleaning the locker room, and being the team's number one fan. At the final game of the year, however, he was added to the roster by Coach Jim Johnson so that he could be given a jersey and get to sit on the bench with the rest of the team. Johnson hoped that the situation would even enable him to get McElwain out onto the floor for a little playing time. And unbelievably, he got the chance with Greece Athena up by double digits and with only four minutes to go. And in the first action of his life in a game setting, Jason missed his first two shots, but then unbelievably, get this, sank six three-pointers and another shot for a total of 20 points in three minutes. His coach says, quote, I've had a lot of thrills in coaching. I've coached a lot of wonderful kids, but I've never experienced a thrill such as this. Of course, the crowd went wild and his teammates even carried Jason off the court. He beamed the autistic boy, quote, I felt like a celebrity. And Jason's mother sees it as a milestone for her son. This is the first moment Jason has ever succeeded and could be proud of himself, she says. I look at autism like the Berlin Wall and he just cracked it. He is truly one of the least likely basketball heroes ever. He scored 20 points in three minutes. Now, since that game, millions around the world have seen this tremendous feat. It was so amazing that when George Bush watched it on the news, he said that he wept. Three weeks later, the then President of the United States met with Jason and his family to congratulate him. And since then, this 17-year-old autistic underdog has been on Oprah and has been interviewed by every major sports network in North America. And now... Magic Johnson is co-producing a movie about his life. And on top of that, he's received thousands of letters from all over the world, from people whom he has inspired. Many of those letters have come from individuals who suffer with autism. And they've written Jason to thank him for giving them hope. <laughs> who knew that hope could come in the form of a kid whose job it was to fill up water bottles and hand out towels. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Guy Hammond. I'm not only the evangelist of a church in Eastern Canada, in Halifax, Nova Scotia, but I'm also the founder and executive director of a ministry called Strength in Weakness Ministries. And it's an organization that helps Christians who come from a homosexual past, but who still live with unwanted same-sex attractions. And we're also educating church leaders and Christians alike on how to effectively reach out to our gay friends and neighbors for Christ in a respectful and loving way that in conjunction holds out the biblical sexual ethic that would truly be representative of Jesus. Now, I do know somewhat of what I'm talking about because I am a same-sex attracted Christian. Before becoming a disciple of Jesus 24 years ago, I lived an openly gay life. In fact, being attracted to the same sex is all I've ever known. And since becoming a disciple, however, God has worked and moved in powerful ways. First, I'll tell you that I'm excited to admit, by the grace of God, that I have not participated in any kind of homosexual activity now since my conversion 24 years ago. I've also been married to my wife, Kathy, for 20 years and have four great kids, two of whom are our biological children and two of whom we recently adopted. 